Hey, this is Tom and Ann, and this is the uh, 125 gallon uh, backyard pond. The first one I installed. Got the filter in and the spillway uh, coming down from River Rock here. And uh, my wife Ann and I went out to a local lake. I used a uh, minnow trap. I've got a little over a dozen, a uh, little blue bluegill you can see in here. And this is their second day in here. And um, they're doing really well. I just dumped in some mosquito larvae and they're chasing those around and eating them. And I also um, use this Hikari uh, First Bites and it's um, it kind of floats in the water column it doesn't sink or necessarily float on the top it's a kind of a suspending food and they've eaten that a bunch of that up already and I got these two water plants from the same place they're really nice a uh, few days to about a week after I set this pond up, you can see one right there. A frog showed up. And here it is right here. It just showed up on its own. And uh, it'll let me touch them. And there's a second one over here somewhere. Uh, it showed up a couple weeks later. A week or two later. So there's uh, two frogs in here now. I have no idea uh, where they came from. We are miles from the nearest uh, body of water. So, anyway, that's a nice uh, added treat. And um, I said I got a little over a dozen, uh, one and a half maybe inch long little bluegill blue eared bluegill and uh, they're doing really well they're active feeding and I just found some flying ants some really small flying ants over by the garden and I scooped them into a bag and dumped them in here and these little bluegill have been coming up to the top of uh, the surface of the water and gobbling them up. <laughs> I did a little more research instead of putting soil or sand or anything in here. I heard uh, from people who have had ponds for a long time that can get to be a nightmare when it comes to cleaning it. And um, so basically what almost all of them suggested and what I found through my research is that put crushed coral in the bottom and that whitens the bottom up so you can actually see your fish you can see the little bluegill in here by chasing the food around and eating um, I like the sound so does my wife the sound of this waterfall we can hear it from the house from the upstairs window and from the back porch you can hear this little waterfall now so i don't know what the name of these plants are they're from the same place uh that uh we got the bluegill you can see there's a center in there and these little bulbs on um between the center of it it's got a nice root mass and uh, these over here are mint. I just took out from the spaces in between the bricks and laid in here. And they've grown a really big root system. You can see, and some duckweed uh, from my 75 gallon tank upstairs. That I can control just by uh, taking net poles out because it, um, it grows pretty quickly in here. So yeah, that's the update on this. Um, I haven't made a video in a while. I tore my back up really bad. 
and uh, finally got in to see a doctor. I've got to go in for some physical therapy. I've been in uh, a lot of pain and um, a lot, you know, got way behind on some of my projects. And um, but this is coming along nicely. I'm going to take it easy as far as 